drums. He used to be the bass drum player, and the snare drum player got upset because he got all the snacks, so the snare drum player decided to stop showing up, and he just took over the whole set. One of the original members of the brass band also, Mr. David Wallace on the drums. <laughs> on the bass, the funkiest tuba player that has never played tuba in New Orleans <laughs> before, but just one of the funkiest cats. I love this cat, everything about him. On the bass, Mr. David Paulthus. Profanious. And on the keys, we got our mystery man. You know, he's the lead choreographer of the band also, so all the steps and dance moves you see us, you see taking place, he creates all of those. We have Mr. Michael, Mike Teasy, Tarragona Jr. <laughs> on the keys, and of course myself, Dr. Bryce Millen. Again, this is what you're hearing right now. This is probably the th our third year kind of with this iteration of Mahogany. Mahogany has always been a band that we try and transform our sound, you know, with the times. We started as a true traditional band, and then we started kind of putting a little street funk, but keeping the trad with it. And a couple of years ago, um, Mahogany was actually in Italy, and we were walking, breathing fresh air, and we had this conversation on what could we do to kind of keep New Orleans jazz relevant, by, but still making it, you know, adding something different to it. And we came up with this vibe that, that um, we created called New Trad. And that's kind of what you're hearing right now. So it's uh, still taking that traditional jazz, but you know, putting out elements of funk and bounce and hip hop kind of on. And the way that nobody else is doing it, we actually sit down and arrange all the songs. So nothing is just like spur of the moment type thing. And as we think of celebrating, you know, Louis Armstrong, I love to say, you know, what would Louis Armstrong be doing right now in 2018 if he was still here? The thing about Louis is that he was hip to the times. You know, as he progressed, he was not only innovating what he did, but you know, he kind of moved along. What, what, what was happening at the time. So what we suggest is that if Lewis was here in 2018, he'd be putting a little funk to his thing. <laughs> so that's what y'all getting right I completely now. agree. Let's, let's play another song, but when we come back, I want to talk about more about the history of the band and some of the personnel over the years because a lot of guys I, I know were in your band when they were teenagers and now they, they're leading their own bands Man, all around the world. Yes. So I don't want that to be left unsaid, but let's talk about that when we come back. But what's the next song you're going to play? Cool. We're going to do, a, you know, and what we're doing for, for, for Satchmo Fest is we're doing a pure... Louis Armstrong songbook, Louis Armstrong songbook, and again, how would he do it? So right now we're gonna do a tune entitled "Won't You Come Home, Bill Bailey." We're gonna put a little bit of that DC influence on this one. All aboard! Got gotcha, you, y'all. Mahogany Brass Band, right here live at WWOZ 90.7 FM. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, indeed. Once you come home, Bill Bailey, Mahogany Brass Band. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, my friend. Um, again, so like I was saying before that um, tune, that was great, by the way. Thank you, fellas. Um, let's talk about um, some of the history of the band and some of the personnel you had come through over the years, because yeah. it's been extensive. It, it has. You know, this this band started, um, I want to say my junior year at St. Augustine High School is when we started. I started with my dad with Pinstripe Brass Band, and then i never forget going to one of the practices uptown, and I was talking, and Rob was in Pinstripe Brass Band. He's one of the original members of Pinstripe Brass Band. And I remember being this young, big head. You know, we all were young. We knew everything. And um, I went, like, trying to give my suggestions on what the band should be doing. I think about the history of Pinstripe Brass <laughs> Band. I mean, yeah. you know, and I remember my dad and Rob and, and Herb McCarver and looking at me and saying, you know, you should just start your own band. And that's what we did. Yeah. <laughs> and, and my house kind of became a practice ground for, for all the young brass band cats. And you look at cats who've come through this band, Daryl Fields was our original tuba player, um, Kevin Lewis was one of my, my mentees, Shamar Allen, I taught him in high school, brought him to Europe for the first time, Stephen Walker, um, Chad Gales, man, I mean, it's just extensive, man. You look at Kelvin Johnson, um, I mean, you look at any of the young cats that's in middle aged cats that's on And all the these people right are now. they're all band leaders in their own right. Doing this leading thing. their own bands yeah. all over the world. So I just want to make sure I want to acknowledge that about you because I don't think many people know that about you. And many, um, and many people you know, I it's work the qualities you and Danny Barker have in common that people need to understand. Yeah. So I'm glad you're here to explain you, you know, that. I and I appreciate that. That was Yes, sir. I, I work at I work in a, a space of humbleness. But I remember right after Hurricane Katrina, a particular journalist pulled me to the side. And, you know, we're talking about the history of the music and, and the culture. And he said something that, I, that never really dawned on me before. And what he said was, he like, Bryce, man, I don't think you recognize this, but, you know, there are two people so far in, in, in a, you know, our modern history of, of our music that has done the most in terms of introducing young people and keeping young people in this music. And he says, Danny Barker. And he said, it's you. Whether it was either through Mahogany Brass Band, through being a music educator, or just mentoring young cats, you know, and I mean, you still you look at cats like Walter Ramsey with, with um, with the Stooges, and you look at Big Benny Pete, um, with Hot Eight. Man, right out of high school, I was mentoring those cats in terms of how to be a band leader, you know, how to deal with the business side of it, and how to really, you know, how to deal with this beyond just looking for a gig, but 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 how to make this music say something, and and how to turn your your love of this music into an entrepreneurial endeavor that can be sustainable. And I look at these cats today and. They have, they have those two, for instance, have done that. You know, I'm so proud of Shamar until it's it's absolutely ridiculous on how he's taking that same thing. And many of the many of the cats that 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 have been able to allow me to touch them and bless them in some way. And you know, I appreciate it. I'm continuing to do it for another generation. As you guys know, I've been been blessed to be appointed by Mayor Cantrell as the director of, of cultural and cultural economy for the city of New Orleans, which allows even a greater opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you. She couldn't have made a better choice, too. Thank, Thank no, God somebody that. knows what's going on. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know, <laughs> and, and, and that, you know, I, I give that as a testament that it, it, it allows, uh, again, 
remaining in my humble space, but it allows all that I've dedicated, as you say, what many people don't know. I've well, dedicated my life to I'm this. here to sing your praises because yeah. I, I know you're not going to talk about yourself yeah. in that way. I, I've dedicated. And so I'm looking forward to us continuing that. And path. I appreciate you doing it and, and keep doing it because, like I said, you've um, half my my band members have come from your school. So <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you teaching them so I ain't got to show them everything by the time <laughs> they get man. to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dr. Bryce Miller, uh, for real, like you've done so much for the city of New Orleans, and I personally appreciate you all the things you've done for me, you know, off, off air. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man. But anyway, um, let's play another song, man. Let's That's get it. And oh, by the way, by the way, you want to hear these guys at the Sashmo Summerfest? They'll be there this Saturday. That's August fourth, at which is Pop's actual birthday, mm. allegedly. Um, August fourth, <laughs> at three p.m. Which stage is that? You know. I want to say we're on there. Is it the Red Beans and Rice Lee stage? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, sounds about right. The, the backyard stage? Backyard yeah, stage, 3 p.m., we'll be. Red Beans and Rice Lee, Mahogany Brass Band. What y'all got next? Be there on time. We're going to rock and roll, and I bought the whole band a new pair of socks, so we're going to be fresh and clean. Oh, I like it. All the boy. Make sure you wash your feet before you put the socks on. Just <laughs> and, we, and we got a new band call coming. So <laughs> 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 we might show up and jump out like a clown call. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep this going. We're going to do another <laughs> song dedicated to, to, to Pops. Um you know, a, a song that, that, that he sang all over the world. It's a tune entitled, and it couldn't be greater for, for this season in this city at this time. Tune entitled, Summertime, with a little flavor from Outcast. Right, y'all. Summertime, Mahogany Brassman, right here on WWOZ 90.7 FM in New Orleans. <laughs> Living is easy. My city be jumping, it be jumping, it be jumping. That's New Orleans. Oh, I see you good looking. Trumpet playing man ain't too bad. No, we ain't. So hush, little mama.
That was real nice. Very, very, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What will Louis Armstrong do? <laughs> Pops eat the pasta. I'm going to eat the pasta. Anyway, um, <laughs> tell the people one more time to get, get in touch with you, the website and all that good stuff. Yeah, you can definitely look out at us. on. You can hit us up on the web at theneworleansmusiccompany.com, www.thenomc.com. That's our official company that does all the booking and everything for the band all around the world. You can also also check us out on social media. Facebook and Twitter. Actually, Louis Armstrong's great, 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 great niece is our internet and social media guru, so she can tell you all the good stuff. And once again, you guys can check us out. I think we've been doing, if I'm not mistaken, I think Mahogany has been doing Satchmo Fest since the very beginning. I know we started, we did the parade a few years. It's kind of blurry, but we're looking forward to celebrating another beautiful year. For me, this is one of the, um, I love this festival. I, I love the premise of it. Again, as a as a as a, a, a black boy who grew into a black man who grew into a, a black successful entrepreneur, I've always looked at Louis Armstrong, both the myth, the legend, and the man, and who he was as a humanitarian, who he was as was not spoken a lot in terms of, you know, he was a he was a staunch civil rights activist. He yes. did it in his own way, absolutely, and and that's meaningful. So you know, I give my all for this particular event, this particular festival, and. Again, come out and join. That celebrate the life of and legacy of Louis Armstrong. If nothing else, come out and get some of this new trad funk in your life on Saturday at 3 o'clock with Mahogany Brass Band. That's right, y'all. That new trad funk. Mah Mahogany Brass Band at the Satchmo Summerfest. That's this Saturday, August 4th at 3 p.m. at the Red Beans and Rice Lee Stage. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Thank you, Mahogany Brass Man. Love and appreciate you. Peace, love, and soul. Woo!